Now I uh, rescued my casualty and I had really, really bad luck because uh, there are two knots here in exactly the same level and I have to pass them with him. So, in order to do that, I need to go from one rope to another. I need to transfer my weight between the ropes here. So, let's see how to do that. The first thing we need to do is to elevate these knots so they're not in the same level because that's cause some trouble. So what I do is, I take this rope and I make another butterfly like this, high, should be high up. See, many ways to do this. But in this example here, the knot is actually in the knot. And I want to keep it as high as possible, so I spend some time to actually Get it really high. I feed the rope through the knot here in order to get it up. Now I want to transfer my weight from here to here. And in order to do that, I need to steal my casualties ID. What I do, I just copy the setup. You see, the original ID goes through the rescue strap and my lower D ring. And the new ID goes through exactly the same curve. I just copy it. Open it. And put it here. Simple. As I got that back up. Remove the snag if that's possible. And lock it off. Now, let's see what's happened here. Slowly, I transfer the weight until they are equally loaded. Then I transfer the backup. These are still two points of connection, right? Put it on the other rope, on top of the other ID. And I continue to lower. Here, pump, pump, pump. I use the bottom of the ID here to, uh, to get the last bit of rope through. I remove the friction carabiner from the original ID and put it here on the other ID. Oh, I have to do some work management. Sorry, it doesn't look too good, but I do. Remove. Ready. First knot is passed, so we continue our journey. And there's another knot. Hmm. Then I use my free ID as a temporary backup when I remove the original. And I remove it again, it's just temporary. Okay. That means that both the knots are now passed and I can go down.